Hey, buddy, watch this. Hello, hello, Regis Kilbin is the name, and Heroes of the Storm is the game, and this is my day one build for Zul. I'm calling the Spectral Zul. This build is all about providing utility for your team. It has various slows and debuffs and just crowd control out the wazoo, and it makes you an incredibly useful tool for your team. Not to mention, of course, you're also just good at pushing lanes because you're Zul, and you can offer some damage. So you're kind of a jack-of-all-trades for your team that can do a little bit of everything. And I don't know for sure that this is going to be the best way to play Zul forever. Only time will tell uh, what his strongest build will be. But I think this is a pretty good start and allows you to play Zul in a very unique way to support teams. And it might be particularly good in an organized team league or even a hero league setting. So without further delay, let's go ahead and take a look at this build. Up first, the talents real quickly. Shackler, Death's Reach. Weaken Skeletal Mages, Decrepify, Flowing Wounds, and then finally, Mortal Wound. So now let's take a look at each of those in detail and discuss uh, why you pick them and how to use them. Up first, of course, Mortal Wound. Enemies hit by... Oh, that's not right, actually. Up first, of course, Shackler at level 1. While Bone Armor is active, you slow nearby enemies by 30% for 1 second. So Bone Armor is a default active talent that Zul gets. You see it pop up there. Now anybody in this circle, while that is active, is actually slowed for one second. So that doesn't mean um, they're only slowed for one second if they're in it the whole time. That means uh, if they're in it and they leave, they still have a slow for one second applied. So this is a little bit like Arthas's E ability you might be familiar with. It also applies the circle around him and slows people while they're inside of it. Of course, it's a much shorter duration, but Zul can have trouble staying close to enemies while hitting them because he is a melee attacker. But not only that, this can also just provide extra crowd control or, or um, peel or utility for your team. And there are quite a few slows in this kit and they get very annoying when playing against this version of Zul. Moving on to level 4, Death's Reach increases Spectral Scythe's range by 20%. Spectral Scythe is pretty important to this build. Of course, that's why it's called the Spectral Zul build in the first place. And you can see now the range on this is quite long. Uh, you can even do stuff like hit towers without actually being in range of the towers. It's also great for poking enemies and applying all the stuff that our Spectral Scythe will do as we see later in the build. This just gives you more control over it. You can actually run farther and, and kind of make it move in arcs and do things that you can't do with it on the standard range. Uh, you can also hit people farther away, of course. So this doesn't sound all that great on its own, but when in combination with these final three talents, it becomes very, very good. So Moving on to level seven and the talent Weaken. This increases Cursed Strikes, that's our W. The attack speed slow from that ability from 50% to 75%. So this is just a really incredible debuff that was already good and it's made even better. Let me tell you, when you have a 75% attack speed slow applied, it feels like you're not attacking at all. So this gives Zul some uh, defensive utility and dueling utility as well and just makes him an incredible nuisance to enemy teams. If he's able to get in and hit multiple people with curse strikes, that's just a huge advantage in team fights that might be enough all on its own to swing a fight in your team's favor. Moving on to level 10, Skeletal Mages is the choice. Summons four Frost Mages in a line that attack nearby enemies for 103 damage and slow them by 30% for two seconds so here are our mages this is yet another movement speed slow that is very good uh, they also do a surprising amount of damage as well and they last for 15 seconds so you can totally control fights with these uh, and the range you'll note is pretty significant as well so you can push this on an enemy's back line and then they kind of have to choose do they run through the mages and take damage do they stay here so that they're in range of you and your allies Gives you control over the battlefield. Can also help you get away if you're trying to make an escape. Just slow people who run through, do some extra damage. There are so many different things that Skeletal Mages do, but they really just give you control and influence over the enemy team's positioning and behavior. And that's pretty important when you're playing a utility build like this one. Moving on to level 13 with Decrepify. Spectral Scythe slows enemies by 40% for 3 seconds. This is the first of a few different buffs to our Spectral Scythe. 
This one, not only does it hit from very far away now, it also slows people by 40%. That's a significant slow. It's much better than like Jaina's um, chilled slow, for instance. Uh, and it also lasts for three seconds, which is a pretty solid duration as well. So this makes it easier for you to close the gap as Zul yourself. It also just makes it better for your teammates when chasing somebody down or trying to make a quick escape. So don't undervalue what a slow can accomplish when you're casting it as regularly as we're going to, thanks to the talent Flowing Wounds at level 16. This reduces Spectral Scythe's cooldown by four seconds if you hit an enemy hero. It's not that hard to hit Spectral Scythe, as long as you're not terrible at the game. Uh, so this should be hitting en enemy heroes pretty regularly, particularly in team fight scenarios. Now note this has an eight second cooldown. That's reduced by four seconds. Uh, if it hits an enemy hero, but also note that the slow here lasts for three seconds. So uh, you can pretty much have a hundred percent slow uptime, or very close to it anyway, thanks to the combination of these talents. So if you're hitting your spectral slice constantly, you're going to be slowing people and doing a lot of damage along the way as well, because this is a pretty heavy hitting ability at 658 damage um, at level 20. So. Uh, lots of damage, lots of utility as well. Flowing wounds uh, may not sound all that great, but in longer team fights, the value that this contributes is insane. And even better, I would argue, than amplify damage, which is also a pretty high utility and useful ability as well. Finally, moving on to level 20, uh, we're going to choose one more Spectral Scythe upgrade. This time it's Mortal Wound. Enemies hit by Spectral Scythe receive a 75% healing debuff for four seconds now much like i said the uptime here is seven out of eight seconds this is actually if you hit it every time a full healing debuff 100 percent uptime effect you can reduce the uh <clears throat> enemy healing by 75 percent constantly in a team fight so keep in mind you don't want to hit the healer with this necessarily you want to hit the person who's going to receive the healing, this is not a healer debuff, this is a healing debuff. So if you hit it on a tank and, and Rhaegar casts Ancestral Healing, for instance, while that four second duration is active, then suddenly he wasted his heroic ability, all thanks to a single talent from yourself. So uh, this is crazy good, whether they have one support or two, it doesn't matter. You can really cast this at opportune times and deny heals. If you get in sync with the enemy healer and kind of predict and guess when exactly they're going to be healing and hitting the right targets at the right times, you can pretty much shut them out of the game entirely or at least make them adjust their play style and adapt to you, which can also have a very large impact on team fights as well. So this just gives you an insane level of extra utility uh, between your standard bone prison crowd control, between the attack debuffs, of curse strikes, particularly with the upgraded version at level seven, between the various slows with spectral scythe and your skeletal mages, and even your shackler bone armor as well, uh, you can control the entire battlefield with this build. It gets even better if you're in lane killing minions thanks to your trait. Uh, this makes Zul to me the highest utility specialist in the game, and he offers something unique when it comes to crowd control and damage and influence on a game that maybe no other hero in the game has, particularly one in a secondary role like the Specialist. And that's why I like the Spectral Zool build so very much. So if you have any questions about this build or how to play it, feel free to ask me in the comments. I'm still learning Zool myself, so don't take this build to the bank just yet. Keep an eye out on what's popular and what seems to be successful. For me so far, this one's been both fun and I've seen the value in it in real games. So... It's working so far. We'll see where it goes. Thanks so much for watching. Have fun out there with the Spectral Zool. And until next time, game on.